have for us? So our first social media question this evening, what are your party's plans in relation to the development of sustainable infrastructure in rural communities to include focusing on lack of piped water and deplorable roads? I will invite Team PNP to answer first. Firstly, we are presenting tonight to the people of Jamaica a contract as to what we will get done. 2% of GDP to fund local government is what we're proposing. 2% of the current GP GDP will give you $20 billion, of which each municipal division will have $87.7 .7 million to do more for its citizenry. We have been starved of cash. We have been starved of policy. And we're saying that as a progressive organization, we put people at the center of what we do. And so with more resources, we're better able to address your roads. Our roads are in the worst condition in our history. Our garbage is not being collected, and nothing has been done for mitigation. So a new PNP administration will get the requisite funding from central government to undertake the cost of providing the critical services. It is our plan as well to ensure that there, there is going to be accountability at every level. And so we are insisting that there will be a divisional development fund for every single parish council division across Jamaica. A divisional development fund which will be similar to the constituency development fund where there will have to be a development plan for each division. And that development plan will have to come with the scrutiny and consultation required to include participation from the citizens. It is important that we stop treating local government like the poor cousin. It's important that Team JLP understands that what we consider to be the vital part of our development must be at the local level. The street lights that I hear recently being spoken of, that they, they have been mismanaging for so long, paying for street lights that we don't have is an indictment and a failure of this Jamaica Labour Party government. All right, thank you so much. Team JLP, your rebuttal. The Jamaica Labour Party does not just talk. We are about action. And when you look on what we have done in respect to the creation of the development orders right across Jamaica, we have set in place how development should take place in the particular spaces that they take place. But we move beyond that. And we look on what has been put onto the ground in respect in areas in Hanover, deep rural Hanover, Chambers Pen, where you are seeing a complete development plan for that area, which includes developing the water systems there. $250-odd million is being put in to develop the water system in Chambers Pen. When you look on a rural part of St. James in Flower Hill, under rural water. We have invested over $100 million to get sustainable water supply into Flower Hill, a community that has hundreds of residents, a community that has been without water for 30 years. The Jamaica Labour Party has used the resources wisely. We are building communities. We are going to build, continue to build communities build Jamaica in a sustainable way. If I may add, um, the, the Jamaica Labor Party has recently announced a $40 billion road program, the SPARC program, which will be fixing community roads over the next two years. Each constituency will have a minimum of $150 million. I never knew that when, even in my lifetime, a government of Jamaica could spend $40 billion without borrowing like my colleagues on that side.